New London's 32-point margin of victory Tuesday night against Fitch does not tell the whole story of a game in which the defending state champion Whalers struggled for two quarters to put away the Falcons. The Whalers started the second quarter with a 16-15 lead, but their defense seemed to have no answer for the Falcons' Chad Graham, who scored 17 of his team's 23 second quarter points, giving Fitch a 38-37 lead at the half. Fitch came out, shot the ball very well. I mean, they were shooting lights out. And, uh, you know, first half, some of that credit has to go to Fitch. Uh, you know, our defense wasn't, you know, nowhere near where it needs to be, obviously, in the first half. And Chad Graham, you know, he was, had a fantastic first half for Fitch. About 24 points in just the first half of the game. First half, uh, basically, we came out thinking we were going to beat them no matter what. Um, Everybody wasn't playing hard. We were playing efficiently. Uh, second half, uh, coach got in our ear. Everybody just went out there and played ball. Uh, everybody was working hard on defense. I think that was the uh, main thing, uh, just shut it down on defense and then create buckets on the offensive side. In the third quarter, New London exploded for a 23-2 run that essentially put the game away. Chris Dunn and Khalid Fields led repeated fast breaks as the Whalers went to a smaller lineup that allowed them more latitude to run the floor. They also clamped down on defense, with a block by Nova Crespo setting off another break for Fields, who had 11 points in the second half to finish with 15. Dunn scored 27 in the second half on his way to a game-high 40 points. Doug Henton distributed the ball well for the Whalers, setting up Crespo and then Dunn, whose lay-in made it 60-42 to in the third. In the fourth quarter, the Whalers scored 21 unanswered on the way to a 96-64 victory that left the team with some mixed feelings. That's what you came at halftime. Maybe we're simply not that good. You know, I, I, you know seriously, guys. You know, we, we've been into the season two and a half games. I mean, you know, Norwich game was a tough game. We lost to Hill House. I, what, we were down one, I think, to Fitch at halftime. Guys, maybe we're just not a good team. You know, maybe I overscheduled us this year. There's nothing you can really do. Whether if we blow a team out, we're supposed to. If we close to a team, oh, you guys are you guys are overrated. We're in a lose-lose situation. There's really nothing you could do about it. We just gotta come out and play and just live up to that expectation. Even though we're never gonna be able to because we're supposed to beat every team by 80 to zero, but we so we just got to come out and meet that expectation that we're supposed to.